Hey, how are you doing? I, I know we don't talk about you enough, but I've been concerned. Are you down in the dumps? Are you are you feeling a little blue? Are you trying to find an internet-based therapist on better help? Only to realize that you yourself are a registered better help therapist? You know, a little twist on the Pagliacci the Clown joke? Don't worry, bro. Uh, I, I've got something that'll cheer you up. It, it works 100% of the time without fail for absolutely everybody. Just type the words tech para into your YouTube search bar and you'll have an emotional panacea at your fingertips. Just watch. Right? Am I right? Maybe you need a second dose. Alright, I don't always recommend this one. It's a little on the strong side, but hey, you've got it. So what exactly are we looking at this Turksmas? One of my favorite weird corners of the internet. It's it's the para para craze. Or it would be a craze if there were more than like a hundred people still into it today. I'll try and give a little bit of background, but it, it wouldn't be Turkmas if I did research. So I'm going to work from my memory of what I think I know about it, and I could be very wrong. Uh, from what I understand... As rave culture enveloped Europe, it began being exported to Japan. However, as it was also being banned, and I mean literally banned, like legally, across Europe, the Japanese became cautious of the music and the clubbing. So instead of disorganized, drug-fueled chaos that ravaged European youth, Japanese record companies started putting out videos of uh, like simple choreographed uh, dances casually zeke hiling the air known as para para uh, and everybody in the club could do it to rave music together they could be organized and well behaved while raving and that kind of that, that was a thing they were already craving in that scene because you know japanese uh, you can still find these tapes and they are amazing That is the coolest guy ever. No joke, I would chop my dick off and toss it out the window to be half as cool as that guy. And look, look at the difference in enthusiasm between the girl on the left and the girl on the right. There's just so much, so much variety. It's uh, wonderful. So uh, with uh, DDR getting big, a Para Para video game was made with uh, motion sensors called Para Para Paradise. And with DDR being big with the weebs in the West, like a giant stupid fucking boomerang, rave culture returned to where it came from. Except now, instead of being a social clubbing activity, it was just nerds in their living room. And wow, look at them go. I can't really explain it, but for like the last year, since one of these popped up randomly in my recommendations, like at least once a month, I will go on an hour-long bender of watching these. It's hypnotic. Oh, by the way, 
just a little fun fact. A while back, I discovered that almost all of these are 145 beats per minute. So if you do a little math, by slowing them down, you can make them dance to anything. Just watch. This ain't no V-Tech shit or Columbine, but after bowling, I went home for some damn adventure time. Would you do? I slipped myself some pink zannies and danced around the house and all over print panties. My mom's gone, that fucking bra will never understand me. I'm not gay, I just want to boogie to some Marvin. Would you make a hate you? Fuck her, Wolf Haley robbing him. I'll crash that fucking airplane at that faggot nigga Bob is in and stab Bruno Mars in his goddamn esophagus and won't stop until the cops come in. Was there a point to this? I, I don't know. I think I started out with one, then I heard that fucking high voltage song, and now para para is all I can think about. Wait, what kind of dance episode is this without Dan Sobel? Why isn't he here? I'm sure you're wondering, where is the king of dance on this channel? And yes, I did bash Parker's opinion on the Wiggles and Blue's Clues since yesterday. And yes, pedophilia. Yes, I did do pedophilia because... Oh yeah, that happened. <laughs>